guys, James here today, and welcome to Into the Future. Finally, yes, we're here. Uh, I went away on the weekend, so... Anyways, long story short, I wasn't able to record until now. So here we are, playing Into the Future. Uh, we're well, obviously not in, uh... Whatever the name of the world is that the future is in. Um... Arcadia Landing? No, didn't they change the name of it? I don't know. Uh, anyways, we're in, uh, Lucky Palms. Because I thought we'd change the neighborhood for the, the default, uh, well, the world they live in, anyways. And they're living in this big house over here that they could buy, because they have a lot of money, as you know, from Island Paradise. That's where they got all their money from. And I merged both families back together. So we have Gil, Liana, Nate, Luna, uh, Ocean, and Lucifer, which look bloody identical because of the, the hairstyles I gave them. I kind of need to change that. Um... And Luther is ready to age up because he's still a teen, so we're actually going to age him up right now. And basically the plan was, in case you don't know, we're going to send uh, Lucifer and Ocean to the future. They are cousins. So that's something a little bit different, isn't it? Um, yeah, so we'll do that. So this is the house. I haven't actually looked around. Why is that kitchen all closed in? That's, I thought that was like open plan. Why, why would they do that? Can we just like get rid of that wall? Looks much nicer when you don't have any of this here, right? Oh. What the hell? Oh, what's happened? Okay, I'm not really sure what happened there. Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna leave that wall there because that was messing around, but... But there's a chair... Ah, oh, I don't know. We'll leave it there. Anyways, sorry, I got, I got a little distracted. Let's, we're not gonna spend half hour building, we're just gonna get straight into it. Ah, uh, we gotta wait for the, the portal to appear on the lock, because apparently the portal should appear at some point. I don't know when. I haven't actually played Into the Future yet, besides, um... I did play it a bit last Monday at an event, but no, I didn't really get stuck into it. This is the first time I'm really gonna get stuck into it. Oh, I don't care about the university mascot. Thank you. Right, you're gonna go blow out the candles. Well, yourself, obviously. Uh, who are you? I don't even know. Lucifer. <laughs> I don't know who they are. Right, I'm gonna change their hairstyles in a second. Um, oh, there's the portal. Hello! Oh, God, shaking my screen. Um, I'm gonna put that somewhere else because I don't really want it there. Uh, where can we put it? That'd be nice. Maybe in the garage. <laughs> just randomly in the garage. How do you even get in there? Do they have a- they don't have a door to get in there, they just have three... thing -os. Where do, you, where do you even drive the car? So you're supposed to drive up here, around the side and in the back. It's kind of weird, but um, I'll check that there for now. Get rid of one of those. We will buy some cars, actually. I think we'll get some cars, because they've they got so much money. This family is ridiculously loaded with money. Um, we'll get, so what, hang on, what kind of windows do we have? Yeah, we just have all the big sort of windows and doors and all that kind of stuff. This house is kind of futuristic, to be honest. Well, no, not really, but it's kind of in that sort of modern style that you would expect. Um, I can't- oh, of course there's a barbecue there! <laughs> of course! Um, I wanted to do- okay, we'll do some windows there then. Uh, see, I don't want to spend all this time- ooh, windows! Uh, right. So many- is that a nice window? That's pretty nice, but I, w I want big windows there. Um, and then what are the- what are the Into the Future windows? Are they new Into the Future windows? There's this, which looks identical. Why is that even a new window? I'm confused. <laughs> Isn't that the same as this? That's base game. This is Into the Future. Okay. Not seeing any differences except for price. Um, no, anyways. Oh, see this one's a little bit different. Um, I just want- okay, let's go get the- Hang on, we can climb it from up here. Grab that. Let's chuck this window here. All along here, whatever. Good, good, good. Now I'll put a door on the side of it. Uh, and that'll, that'll do fine. That'll do fine. I'll go there, get the color off this. Chuck it on there. I just want to play the game, really, so I'm not... Oh my god, load. I just want to play. A mysterious portal has appeared in the world. What effects may this have on the world? Uh, do they have to use world twice now? That makes it sound tacky. Anyways. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Alrighty. Alright, we got the portal. He's gonna blow out the candles. He's gonna age up and then we're gonna go to the future. Alrighty, everybody. Gather around. Gather around. Is everybody coming? Yep. Uh, they're all coming in. Such a nice, nice little family, isn't it? Yay! Everybody's here! Yeah! Age up! Age up! And then we can get out of this hellhole. Get rid of that too. 
Oh, right. Oh, God, just blow out the candles. There we go. Ah, uh, difficulties in school. Yeah, whatever. Oh, he's... Why? This kid is always bald when he ages up. I don't understand. Right. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, go change your appearance. Oh, I've got to pick a lifetime wish. Uh, is there, there's got to be some futuristic one, right? Because I said I was going to change the other one. Um, oh, God, there's no way to filter these. Deep Sea Diver, no. Uh, Grand Explorer, Great Explorer. What's the difference between Grand and Great? Oh, because that's Island Paradise, and that's... World Adventures, that's good. Um, Heartbreaker, High Tech Collector, that sounds futuristic. Reach level 10 of the advanced technology. Yeah, we'll do that one. I uh, assume there's some other one, but we'll do that one for him. Hey, I didn't tell you to do cake. I said change appearance. And also, I want you to change appearance too. All right, because I don't, I don't know. They they look exactly the same. Cause I seem to have chosen the exact same hairstyle for both of them. Uh, go away, go away. They earned book royalties from the last. It's like, ooh, look at this. That's quite futuristic. How futuristic? I, I guess we should pick. Oh, that's not. That just looks like he's got messy hair. I don't like the future hairstyles. Um. You can be quite rebellious with that one. Oh, you can get oh, that hairstyle. So there's only four. There's only, I guess there's new hat thing over there, right? Um, or not? There's only four new hairstyles. Really? Oh, okay. That's kind of disappointing. Oh. Um, okay. Well, I don't like that one. And I don't like that one. And I don't like that one. And I guess it's going to be this one. Alrighty, we'll go with that one then. <laughs> Only remotely good one. Uh, any new beards? Oh yeah, they have those weird beard styles, don't they? Which are completely weird. As to be expected. Uh, it just seems like a lot of- It just seems like a lot more effort than it's worth to shave your beard like that. Um, go for the stubble? I mean, the other dude's got stubble. Go for, maybe go for a bit of a chin strap. Uh, how a bit thicker stubble around there? No, nah, how about this one? No, nah, all right, screw stubble. Yeah, that's good enough. We'll change his clothes. Uh, I think we'll we'll go to the future and sort all that stuff out. I just want to I just want to dive into it, so I don't want to waste too much time here. All right, so we're changing him now. Uh, I might actually change his hair color. Make it a bit crazy. So. My God, look at his eyes. I forgot how blue they are. They're incredibly blue eyes. Um. Alright, so we've got the same hairstyles. What if we do something like this? This one here. No, I don't like how short that is. Too short. Too short. I don't like that. Uh, make it dreads. Well, I just want a hairstyle that I can... Um... <laughs> I don't know. I just want a hairstyle that's good that I can play around with. <laughs> that's, that's the same one here before. I was like, oh, that looks good. Then I realized it's the exact same hairstyle. Um, that's kind of futuristic. I mean, it's from Showtime, but that's kind of futuristic, right? What we'll do... Change hair color. Um, is this the main hair color? Yeah, do you guys want to, like... Go for a bright color or something? A bit futuristic, yeah? Um, go for a red. I was going to go blue for his eyes, but then it looks kind of weird having blue and blue, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it looks kind of weird, to be honest. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. Tips. Uh, let's go. Let's just make it white. How come this one's in RGB and then in, like, creator style there, it's in hex. Hexadecimal. Them white tips. The highlights and, and roots are white. There you go, look at that! That's pretty future- Oh my god, no. <laughs> um, no, but I do, I do want a loud hair colour, I think. Maybe something like that, and let's not make that white. Um... There you go, that's something different. God, I don't know. I mean, look. I'm not saying it looks good. But it's futuristic. And that's all that matters. I don't know, he's just, he's just going to be out there, out there a bit crazy. Right, we're going to go to the future with uh, Lucifer and Ocean. And I was looking there for the portal, even though it's over here. Right, uh, inspect portal. 
wherever you are, and everybody else can take care of themselves. <laughs> what is that? Huh. 449 days. Oh, we don't have long. We do not have long. Ooh. Nope, he doesn't like the door, though. He's not a fan of the door. Why would you touch that? Oh, here we go. He's Emmett Time Traveler. Well, Emmett Relevart. Or it's just Time Traveler backwards. Greetings, I'm Emmett! Uh, you seem like an adventurous sim, perhaps you'd like to use my time portal! All time travelers need an almanac to chart how your actions in the present reflect your sim's future in Oasis Landing. Okay. Oh, alright, what's this? Find and collect the power cells on your lot! Okay. I will. There's five of them. Um... Which should just be weird little things that have just appeared around the lot. Uh, reach maximum level of charisma skill. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to click on that. But thanks for the update, I really don't care. Alright, let's have a look around for these little chubby things. Are these chubby things? Oh, yep, yeah, there they are, two next to each other. That was easy enough. Uh, so there's little tubes standing on the ends like that, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. He says, and then 20 minutes later I find all of them. Uh, there's another one. There's only five of them, isn't there? Are they all outside, or...? I don't actually know how this works. Uh, any in there? No. Uh, oops. Yeah, I don't know if they all spawn outside, or, or what the deal is. Did he get them? Oh yeah, he did. That was quick. Right, there's two more. Where are they? I'm blind! I'm blind! Oh, there's one. Okay, so there's one there. Where's the other one, then? Okay, one more somewhere. I assume it's probably outside, considering all those are outside. Where are you? Mr. Power Cell. I don't know why we have to do this. Couldn't Emmett just give me the power cells? I feel like that would have been easier. Uh... I don't care if Ocean is a loner. Uh... Where's the other one? I don't know. Am I blind? Is it in the shrubs? Someone tell me where it is! I cannot find it! Uh, tune in next week to find out if we will find the power cell. Maybe it's not- maybe it's not, um, outside then. Maybe it is and I've just missed it every single time. Is it like out here anywhere or...? I f well, they all spawned on like, terrain, so... I feel like that's where we'd find it. On terrain. But I do not see it. No, see, I don't know if it's like hiding somewhere. <laughs> hiding in one of these traps. Why can't I find you? Where are you? Ah. Uh, it's probably like being in front of me the whole time and I just can't find it. Or I just can't see it. Is it up here? Maybe it's up on this part. Oh my god, I just want to go to the future. Why is this so difficult? Um, who knew time traveling was so hard? Jeez. Is it in the house? Can I just tell him to get the other one? Can I just click on him and say, go get it? Oh, here he is. Hey, buddy. Why are you still here for, anyways? Time traveler. Learn more about the almanac. No, we'll do that later. Um, I just don't know whether- what, Emmett's just standing there. Why can't Emmett go get them? Alright, no, let's just zoom out. So there's a bunch over here and there. Where's the other one, then? I feel like it'd be here, but... I don't know. Mr. Time... Traveling power cell thing, where are you? Hello? Definitely not there. <laughs> Stupid university crap there on the ground. Um... I don't know, that's, that looks like there's something there. Maybe not. Um... Um... Can I just go through the time portal thing? Oh, you can... Uh, okay. So this could be the entirety of the first episode, is me trying to find the bloody power cell! Is it in... okay, is it a possible thing that it can go in the house? Because... I don't know. Right, let's look in the house. I'm looking in the house. And also outside. Right, the guitar. Let's look up like this. 
Hmm. Where's the power cell? Hmm. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Is it outside? Looking outside on all these little balcony things. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. Um, nobody seems to care that he's here either, so... Yeah, I don't know. Where is this thing? Has it put it on the roof? Oh my god, there's like 50 of them on the roof. Look at them all up here. I don't think it- can I even get up on the roof? Oh look, there's even more up here. Jesus Christ. It's just littered them all over the roof of my house. Okay, well that explains why the others are, so hopefully that doesn't make me too- I don't feel as stupid now. Let's just put one down here, shall we? Can't intersect objects. There we go. I don't think I'm- I don't feel as stupid now that I couldn't find it because I didn't expect them to be on the roof. Go get that power cell. There you go. Do the others disappear now? Yeah, they do. I should have sold them, actually. They're a hundred bucks a piece. Oh, well, we got a million bucks. There we go! Jesus! <laughs> stupid power cell. Alrighty. Thanks to you, the time traveler can return home to Oasis Landing. That's it, Oasis Landing. That's it, Oasis Landing. Uh, why don't you follow him to see where the time portal leads? Yeah, that's a safe idea. Uh, travel to the future with... Lucifer. Uh, yeah. We're going to the future. He hasn't even left yet. We're supposed to be following him, but he hasn't even left. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay. Just shake my screen. Oh, find the sweet escape dream pod. There it is. I'm clicking it. My mouse is still a plus sign as well, so... I'm clicking it! I'm clicking it! It's not working! Hello? Anybody there? It's not working. Oh, there we go. Uh, find the Conhedo Supo-centric geode sculpture by Van Allen Decor. Alright, sculpture. I don't know, that thing. There you go, that's easy enough. Find the Prissy Plumes Dresser by blah blah blah. That one. Click! I'm clicking it, I'm clicking it, it's not working! That's the only problem with this loading screen minigame, is the fact that because the game's loading, <laughs> it lags when you click stuff. Uh, find the tube elevator. There it is. Uh, find the holographic plant. Oh, well, there's one there, so... I have to click the base. That's oh, just lagging, I'll click it like 20 times. And then it will work! I'm clicking! There it goes. Uh, find the terraformation coffee table. Probably this thing here. Find the planter pod end table. That one. Ah, uh, oh. oh, here we are! Beautiful, look at that. There we are. Look at that. Oh, he's just popped out. <laughs> See, Lucifer just like doesn't even care. He just comes out and then he's the one that actually comes through. Um, some of your descendants have been located and they live at 112 Cordial Court. Uh, okay, I got money. Not money. Property owner, something, something, something. Okay. So. Where are my relatives? Where are my descendants? Oh, they're just there. Can we go live with them? I've only got two descendants. Apparently. Oh no, it's just inside. Let's go visit descend- actually no. Do we have to do something else first? I don't really know what I'm supposed to do in the future, to be honest. Well, he's talking to me, so maybe I should talk to him. Where are you going? Paint. Oh god, okay. Because you totally know how to use that. You're not the slightest bit concerned that you're in the future. You're just like, oh yeah, no worries. And he knows how to do that, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, fly around with a jetpack! Okay. How do we do that? Do I have a jetpack? This is the question. I don't think I do. <laughs> Where do I get a jetpack? Uh, oh, sorry. No. Oh my god. Um, time <laughs> traveler. Tell me about the future. No. Um, I think we have to go buy one. Uh,. Gallery. I look like I assume there's was some sort of store via the icon. Legacy Park. Bot Emporium. Okay, so with the jetpack. So my descent okay, descendants. Ruben Ellis and Oh his hair colour. <laughs> it's got it's taking his hair colour. Oh dear. Um so yeah, family worth, mother load. Okay. Household size small. Um, so, what does all this stuff do? Legacy. 
I mean, I don't know what these things do. Timekeeper. No one in your household is currently known as the blah blah blah. Set up clothing pedestal in present day, then have four sims use the clothing pedestal to change their outfit while in present day. The trendsetter. Okay. Okay, so these are little things you do to change the future. Alrighty. Trigger. No. Uh, Alright, anyway, we'll close that for now. Um, what we want to do is... Do I just buy... I guess I just buy a jetpack from the catalog, because I know you can do that. Or is it somewhere I can just get it from here? I, I, I honestly don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. So don't expect... I mean, ooh, hoverboard, can I? Yeah, I can take that. Yoink. Thank you. Uh, there's another one in there. Oh, he can take that one. Oh, he's got a jetpack. Where did you get that from? There's like a billion hoverboards around here. You can also take that computer. Why not? <laughs> this is kind of stupid. You can just steal stuff here. And sell it for money. Um, you know, he's got a little computer he can take around with him. Where is a jetpack, though? Because... Alright, we'll just buy one. we got heaps of money. Let's see. Um, no idea where I would find it. Is there a collection for Into the Future? Here we go. Good. Pro oh, actually, probably just been electronics, wouldn't it? Miscellaneous? Um, what's that? Nope. Uh... Okay, so... Oh, maybe transport vehicles. Miscellaneous. Yeah, here we go. Alrighty. There we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Hot air balloon. Anything else we want? We already stole a couple of those. What is that? Doctor Who phone booth. Alrighty. Um... Oh, no, wrong, wrong person. Sorry. You take the jetpack and you're supposed to fly with it. Uh, okay, start using. Use your jetpack! Okay, now we want to fly. So let's fly to our relatives, actually. That's a good idea. Let's fly over there. I don't, he doesn't actually know how to use it, so fly here. It is, it's just skill, right? I think. Hang right, let's watch him. Let's watch him fail. Okay. Oh, where's he going? He's going up. He's going, no, he's going down. And he's falling out of the tube. Alrighty, here we go, here we go. Oh. Oh, yep, see, he's not very good at it. At all. Uh, you can also start using that and... Finish your painting later. Fly here. Right, let's go ahead and visit these dudes. Go here, come on. Hey, buddy. He's just casually like, yeah, okay, all right, you're my, you're my descendant, no worries, no worries, mate. It's all well and good. Can, can I, like, live here now, or? No, I can't, that sucks. Why? So, I apparently own this building, or? I'm not really sure. Can I buy a house here? I, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> all right, there's so, there's so much to do. Family ties, ah. He doesn't have family ties, because it's not his descendants. Okay, you're just gonna- what, what are you doing? Why don't you go talk to these people? Friendly. Brian Day. Oh, hang on, what's going on here? Oh, what's going on? No. Okay. Chat. No? Okay, there we go. Hey, look, you got your hair from me, because I decided to turn my hair yellow one day. And I listened to music. And you guys used to have really old computers, right? Yeah, that was super old. Oh, hang on. I've got a really good idea. Do you want to hear my awesome idea? It's going to blow your socks off. You won't believe it. And then he never said his idea. Let's find out what the idea is. Friendly chat. I want to, I want to know what the idea is. Right, so we get a house together and we do it up, fix her up, you know, just do a few renos here and there. And then we sell it for a giant profit. Oh, yeah. Get a house together. That's a fantastic idea. I think that could go down really well. Yeah, houses are pretty good, hey. Especially in this market. I think it will be fantastic. And if I build one in the in the past, we can own it in the future. There you go. That's the, that's the conversation I imagine they just had. Um, Alright, let's go <laughs> fly foosball, because foosball is so futuristic. We should actually do something. Uh, what is your mood? That's probably the other, uh, another question. Can, so, hang on. If I go to map, can I edit town? What, what happens here? And we'll save, we'll save first. Um, so I, I don't, I don't know what I can do. <laughs> I, like, I don't, I don't really know what's going on. Um, like, can I move them into a house here or I have no idea. Um, 
But that would be such a good idea though. Buy a house in the present, sell it in the future for millions of dollars. Oh, come on. I was having it save nice and quick. And no, it's taking forever. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess we'll find out more in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Oh, look, it's finished loading, but you can join me in the next episode.